I'm here in Borjomi, the famous Soviet resort town in central Georgia with a population of 10,000 people. And I'm chilling with my friend Piotr Tchaikovsky, <laughs> who um, apparently used to come here to the spa resort to, to enjoy a uh, spa holiday because the town here is famous for its mineral water and has therefore um, been a popular destination for wealthy people in the Soviet Union to come down here and enjoy a spa holiday like Tchaikovsky. Also read that Stalin used to come down here and I read that um, another famous uh, author actually used to come here. I forgot his name, Russian author, shame on me, huh? The cars are amazing here. As you can see, every other car is completely damaged and they definitely don't let you cross the street. But this is pretty normal, I've come to realize in Georgia. See this car here, that's, that's normal. That's just how it is. So, I'm walking, uh, I'm walking through the hood now and showing you around a little bit. And then we're gonna go up a cableway, the sketchiest cableway in the world actually up this mountain where the the, uh, the spa resort has been and they have some some relics uh, some abandoned soviet um, swimming pools and stuff like that there also also what's interesting is yesterday we ran into some people that spoke german and told us they used to uh, study and live in the eastern part of germany before the soviet union collapsed which is funny, we had the same experience in Cuba back then when we visited the, the, the island. Um, happens among former Soviet countries sometimes. Um, and up there where we take the cable car later is a, uh, another Ferris wheel of course and an amusement park but this time we won't check it out, we leave that out. But as you can see here, these buildings, uh, like the, the tall tower here and maybe not this one but but maybe that one and this one over there this one has probably actually been a hotel these are buildings that have been built um, back in the day in the 60s and the 70s for people to come down here um, and stay in those hotels or small apartments for a spa holiday wealthy people from Russia mostly um, from today's Russia coming down here's the Bank of Georgia I'm gonna get money and then we're gonna cross the bridge and we're gonna go over there um, to the cableway and I'll see you all over there the beautiful Kura River the same river that runs through to Bills also here I don't believe that this river has the mineral water if it does then <laughs> it's got to be a miracle behind me is the old central train station of Borjomi I don't know why they <laughs> they saying now that it's a law office but it is the old central train station. You can see through the glass. Unfortunately, it's locked, but you can see the train tracks through the glass. And what else you can see is, I can put the camera in there. Here is the old Soviet timetable for trains throughout the Soviet Union. I'm guessing it has not, it has not changed since then. Everything is written all over it in Russian. <laughs> the ceiling is coming down. Too bad we can't go in. But this is where people arrived. And then they entered the main spa resort park here in the middle of Borjomi. And then this way is the cable way, which we're gonna check out now. We found a way to get onto the train tracks and maybe through the back door into the train station. 
This is where people used to come from Riga, from Minsk, from Moscow, from Rostov or from Kiev and they arrived here to maybe go to their little apartment up there in this tower to enjoy a spa holiday in Old Bojomi. Let's see if we can get inside the train station. Wow. Bojomi Yard. This is Georgian writing. And here, maybe in the old days, an old babushka was sitting and checking your tickets. You can, you can enter. See if there's someone inside. Oh. Привет. Здравствуйте. Mm. Train? Train? Station? Train? Ah, yes. Да. 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 Привет! Спасибо! Of course, nothing works here. <laughs> Up here nothing is open, there's a cafe, the ferris wheel doesn't work and whatever that is. This, however, is an old trampoline. <laughs> I don't think that it's supposed to look like this. They are... I think back then they just put it down and then you could jump, I don't know. Um, apparently it hasn't been used. For a long time, I'm suspecting since 1989. Other than the Soviet, the former Soviet attractions that no longer work, there's not really anything going on here, except for um, a cafe with overpriced beer. Eight lari for beer, which is around, what's eight lari? That's, uh, more than two euros is not good because normally you pay two lari for a beer which is a quarter of eight lari and yeah obligatory techno music um at 10 a.m pretty normal for here another one of these i told you earlier <laughs> german family flach and this is the airport transfer, uh, transfer. The Ford Transit they used to do airport transfers somewhere in Germany like 30 years ago or 20 years ago. And still here they're using the old Familie Flach. We are back at the cableway because it seems like there's nothing here. There's literally nothing to do. I don't know why we came here. Um, maybe just for the view. Check out the view. This is the old Soviet hotel. Um, old Soviet apartments all over the place. And they are trying to make the place live up to the hype of the 70s and 80s. Um, with uh, pretty pretty decent hotels. But most of the, the buildings, most of the hotels they, they are constructing, they stop the construction halfway through because they see that there's no demand and they can't um, pay for it anymore, uh, anymore, I suspect. We're having a quiet moment here. I'm waiting for the cable car. And I will leave you with these impressions here of former 
spa resort Borjomi in the central Caucasus. See you soon. This plant doesn't need to be watered since they placed it strategically underneath a leak, underneath a water leak in the ceiling. Smart.